Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's Survivor Recap. Last week on Survivor, Fong sent Kelly packing. Yeah. Fung's running out of rice, too. They're really in the crapper now. And Ugh. Crystal, to make matters worse, knocked over the rice container. It's not like they have a strainer where they can rinse out the rice. They yeah, kind of had a... Uh, I'm guessing that it's not very sanitary anyway, so why don't you just wash it? <laughs> yeah, nobody likes that uh, dirt grit in their teeth when they're trying to eat, like, three spoonfuls of something for the day, though. So Crystal decided that she was going to be the martyr and not eat any of the rice and be a big wet blanket. You know, like, I see you looking at me. You might as well be saying bad things because I can see the look on your faces. <laughs> so the supply went from, like, seven days worth to, like, five and a half. Yeah. Meanwhile, at Coda, Dan is feeling left out of the group. Paranoid! <sighs> He's one of those idiots from high school that always has to be in the picture. Guys, guys, what are we doing? Huh? Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> Nothing with you. Okay, so it's time for the reward challenge. And it was a game of the good old keep away. Also known as monkey in the middle. Except, except it was three versus one. That's right. And two games simultaneously going on at a time. Mm -hmm. so, so the three had to throw around these breakable yeah, balls. Yeah, like breakaway <laughs> balls. And, um... The one had to try and knock it on the floor, like... <laughs> yeah, knock it down. Like, that coffee's too hot. Yeah. All right. So, so. each uh, ball that was smashed was worth one point, and the first person... Well, the well, first, first try. Team ...to get three wins. That's correct, Maddie. <laughs> and the prize that they're playing for is a helicopter ride to an insanely delicious picnic. Ooh. I know. With cheese. Mm-hmm. All right, so first point goes to Coda. Yeah, and then Randy was getting all pumped up. He was like, Rawr. Why are you growling, Randy? Oh, my God, he's so weird. Second point goes to Coda. And guess what? Third point goes to Coda. Oh, wow. my God. That's like their sixth win in a row. And Sugar is going to exile for like the millionth time. Fifth time in a row, I think. Right. <laughs> I, I'm getting diarrhea from all this fruit. That's probably what she's thinking. So, Maddie is really frustrated with all the losing that's going He's on. He's like the male version of Stephanie from, like, a few seasons Maddie, back. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he's like, Coda and their beautiful chopper yeah. went to the reward, and I want to win. Mm -hmm. Maddie wants Sugar gone. Yeah, because he thinks that she's pretty much useless in the challenges. But she's she, a pinup model. She is kind of usually most of the time. Well, Ace <laughs> decides that he wants Crystal out. Because she's just, eh. Mm. So, I think they kind of decide that Sugar's probably going to be going. Mm, I don't know. I was confused at that part. Yeah. But anyway, get well, out the Kleenex because back at the Coda picnic, they get letters from home. <laughs> Bob really loses it. He Big lost time. control. I think he needed some Zoloft or He's something like, after <laughs> that. <laughs> like yeah. rolling on the floor. and <laughs> A diaper and some Zoloft. <laughs> All right, so it's time for the immunity challenge already. This is a fast-moving show. Guess what? There's a twist, or more than one twist. Right. Because both tribes will be voting someone out. That's right. Double a limb, baby. Double a limb. Yes. And it's one of my favorite challenges, the good old log roll. I love that. Yes. Last person standing wins immunity. Personal but immunity. Individual immunity. Right. And you could be going up against someone from your own tribe. That's right. So in the first round, Dan, of course, was eliminated first, <laughs> followed by Crystal, Maddie, Susie, Kenny, and Corinne. So round two. Charlie was out, then Randy was out, and then Bob, who admitted that he was a log rolling champ in college. <laughs> was eliminated by Sugar Only Bob of would be a log rolling champ. I know. What was he not wearing? I don't know. But mostly it was scary. clothes. <laughs> it was mostly clothes that he wasn't wearing. Yeah. So the final round, all three of the finalists are on the log at the same time. Ace, Sugar, and Marcus. Sugar fell off first, mm -hmm. which I'm surprised because she has a pretty low center of gravity. And then it was down to Marcus versus Ace, mm -hmm. and Marcus won. Yeah. There's another twist. Oh Marcus yeah. Marcus. Got to pick one person from the other tribe to get immunity for this. 
And he picked sugar. Travel council. Nice. <laughs> nice, as Borat would say. <laughs> Kenny rats out Maddie and Ace to sugar. Yeah. Kenny does that all the time. He is. He's a little tattletale. So Ace has the audacity to ask Sugar for the immunity idol. What? She's like, no. No. <laughs> no. Computer says no. Yeah, because Sugar made a deal with Kenny that she would vote out Ace. That's right. And the plan is that Fong is going to vote out Ace. Well, at least three of them are anyway. So, it's time for Tribal Council, and Fung is up first. Mm -hmm. I think Jeff has somebody telling him secrets, because he knew well, that yeah. Crystal spilled the rice. <laughs> Sugar keeps her immunity. Mm -hmm. She's keeping immunity. And the hidden idol was not played either. That's right. Ace is voted out, and he thanks Sugar on the way out. Yeah, he's like, thanks, Sugar. Who gives a crap? You're not on the jury. That's true. <laughs> so, it's time... For Coda, we're going to do a little eavesdropping. Susie and Corinne. Yeah. Corinne wants Dan out. But Susie's like, well, I was going to vote for you. <laughs> Is that the stupidest thing everybody, anybody why ever would said? You, even if that was true, why would you tell them? Susie, you pissed off Corinne so much that she wants to stab you in the face. I can't believe Corinne said that. That was pretty uh, strong. I really don't like Corinne. No, I don't either, but um, I'm not a big fan of Susie either. No, I think they're both like... Useless. So, it's time for Kota's tribal council. Uh-huh. And Jeff asked Susie, who's weaker than you? She was like, well, I think Corinne's weaker. Wow, she's going to stab you in the face twice now. <laughs> <laughs> so, Marcus has immunity mm -hmm. from the challenge. And it's down to Dan versus Susie. Three votes each. So, that crazy F-nut Dan was voted out. I guess he could finally go to the all-you-can-eat buffet now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Poor Dan. Next nah. time, Randy really goes nuts. <laughs> and gets naked. And crazy. And he calls himself the king of... No, I called him the Gabon. king of the... Oh, well, I call him the king of the naked crazies. Yeah. So, until Randy next week... I'm pretty sure it's the merge. <gasps> oh, do you have the urge? We'll have to find out next week. Till then, much, much love. love.